Hi guys, we're from Phone Arena and we're going to be unboxing the Lenovo Zook Z2 or ZUK. Uh, we actually showed you our hands on from Mobile World Congress Shanghai. We have the retail unit here from China. So thanks to guys at iBuyGu for shipping it over. Uh, you could buy one from uh, them. And yeah, so this is actually a Lenovo company, ZUK, as you can see on the box here. Very similar to the ZUK Z1. Um, so this is the retail box. We have the black variant. Of the device so there are two devices the zuk z2 and the z2 pro so here we have the zuk so let's actually open up the box and take a look at the device so here we have a black variant of the zuk z2 the cheaper variant of the two so we have some bunch of stickers everything in chinese uh, let's have the zook branding uh, pretty glossy back <laughs> i'm thinking it's a fingerprint magnet and we have the zook branding uh, looks pretty fancy in black we have the device uh, here let's actually try to power it on looks like it's not powering on maybe needs a quick uh, charge so let's put the phone aside and take a look at the box contents we have a zuk vip <laughs> kind of brochure it says valid till 2019 from 2016 pretty interesting hopefully there's no secret information here let's take a look at the other box contents you have a sim ejector tool considering it's a phone without a back uh, case i mean you have to use the sim card tray to remove the uh, dual nano sims so you also have a user manual everything is in chinese so it talks about the sim card uh, trays it's called dual nano sim cards slots and you also have the other port information and everything yeah and uh, that's pretty much it so let's take a look at this looks like a warranty card yeah Possibly, probably not going, to, not going to be using it. So you also have the wall adapter here. So the phone supports Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. Uh, the adapter here has a 5.3 volt, 2.5 ampere rating. As you can see, it's a Type C device. So you have a USB Type A to a Type C cable in the box. So let's actually take uh, the screen protector off. So it's a 5-inch screen on the front. So it's running on Zook OS. So as you can see, uh, you don't have uh, any keys. So let's crack up the brightness a bit. So as you can see, it's got multitasking and you use only the home key or the button only button. Let's go into the settings and check out the phone info. So there's about four gigs of RAM, six gigs of storage. And you have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 uh, processor under the hood. Uh, this is the uh, four gigabyte variant. So you have Android 6 as well and uh, yeah so let's uh, it's got dual sim uh, functionality so you have two nano sim slots on the inside use the only home uh, button you long press or double tap or uh, kind of just tap it once to go back to the home screen uh, takes a little get getting used to because you have no uh, keys on the phone itself apart from the home key so you have to use this only home key very similar to Meizu's implementation a lot of users are going to actually miss Cyanogen mod this time around. You only have the Zook OS this time. You also have a 13 megapixel camera along with some really interesting modes uh, and an 8 megapixel front facing camera. So you're actually trying the rear camera right now. Lots of modes. Really love this uh, Lomo mode here. Gives some nice Instagram feel to the photo. So really interesting camera. You're going to be trying it out over the next few days. So you also have a LED flash on a microphone right next to the camera module. The back is seeming like a fingerprint magnet and it's a little glossy. It's the phone is a little thick uh, and uh, has a 3000 mAh battery on the inside. Uh, let's go into the fingerprint uh, setup. So uh, the phone actually comes with a fingerprint sensor on the home button. So let's set one fingerprint up and show you how quick it is to kind of unlock the phone. So we're setting it up. So we've set it up. Let's lock the phone and a light uh, touch on the home key unlocks the phone really fast. One of the fastest phones uh, I think to date. So on the left there's nothing here. So it's pretty flush. And on the bottom uh, you have the Type-C port. And uh, the phone looks pretty uh, different compared to the ZUK Z1. Uh, same uh, Type-C functionality. You have the red phone jack which is not gone thankfully. Speaker grill. Uh, nothing on the left and uh, nothing on the 
top on the right side you have the volume rocker and the power button lock switch you also have the sim card tray for the dual nano sim slots so let's actually open up the sim card tray to show you how it is sadly the phone doesn't have a micro sd card slot you have to make two with the built-in 64 gigabytes of storage which is fair enough for most people so you have uh, two uh, separate nano sim slots here at the bottom of the device bottom uh, right side overall it's a pretty interesting device and uh, it's priced at about 18,000 roughly about 1800 yuan in china and we have a 5 inch screen and uh, running on uh, zook os and it's probably coming soon to india as well so do with the thumbs up button if you like this video and see you guys in the next video that was a quick unboxing of the lenovo zook z2